What up folks, this is Augie of Your Two Cents. Today we are looking at my depleted sample of, what is this? This is John Barbados Artisan Pure. Yeah, there we go. I uh, bought that online uh, from a trusted source. Uh, what do we have here? We have, uh, this is the newest release. I believe it came out last year, 2017, uh, in the fall. Uh, I think I said that on Fragrantica, which was, I thought was kind of funny. But anyhow, uh, not really a fall scent. Uh, pretty much a fragrance uh, made for summer. And kind of like the darling of this summer's uh, picks. Uh, last year it seemed to be uh, Invictus Aqua. And uh, this one's slowly uh, kind of gaining some uh, uh, traction, I think, with the reviewers and folks out there in the FragCom. Uh, and for good reason. Uh, basically, let's see the numbers. Came out, yep, fall 2017. Uh, gets a 4.43 out of 5 with 280 votes cast on Fragrantica. Uh, let's just go over the notes. Top notes, lemon, bergamot, mandarin orange, clementine, thyme, and marjoram. Uh, mids, pedigree, ginger. Uh, base, uh, we have woods, orris root, amber, and musk. And basically, I guess it's the pedigree. Uh, when you first apply this, you get a lot of nice citrus. A lot of nice citrus, uh, very bright. Uh, does kind of remind me of like clementine uh, oranges when you pop one of those open. Very nice, but there is a little bit of like a, I guess it's the pedigree, like I say, maybe a neroli essence in there uh, with some of the herbs. And just a very beautiful, vibrant, uh, fresh opening. A little bit of soap, a little bit of soapiness. Uh, basically, it projects for two and a half hours off of my skin, it seems to, uh, maybe three hours. Uh, and within that little window, uh, I've gotten compliments uh, back to back on that, you know, in that time frame. And then after that, it seems to get pretty close to the skin. Uh, loses, you know, obviously some of that citrus uh, nature, but I think like the ginger and pedigree are somewhat in there. Yeah, I'm getting more soap now. Uh, and it gets musky kind of on the dry down. Uh, and the only thing I ever have uh, negative to say about it, you know, it seems to last about six hours on me, you know, and then you get it on your clothes, maybe you might get a little bit more out of it, but not a long, super duper uh, long lasting one, which is kind of weird because uh, John Barbados, uh, it's better than the other ones I've tried in the line, and a lot of the other reviewers will say they'll get eight hours, so maybe it's just my experience, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, I wish it could be a little better performance, uh, but compared to the other John Barbados, uh, it's about the best one so far. Uh, but also, uh, you know, it seems to be a problem with that house, so you would think they would just, uh, you know, come out with one that would really be amped up and last for like seven days. But, you know, maybe that's not possible, but uh, <clears throat> that's about it. But within that time frame where it is noticeable, uh, you know, like I say, I've gotten compliments, which is uh, saying a lot. So uh, it's very nice, uh, very fresh, uh, perfect for summer and spring. Uh, and you know, yeah, of course you live in a warmer place, you could use it year round, but it really has that uh, go out and go do something type of smell. Uh, it does smell very, uh, uh, like I said, I could use it any time of the day, uh, work scent. Uh, it is playful, uh, but it also, you know, so well blended, I can see it being uh, formal summer use too. So. Uh, but probably a little more to the playful. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this will be a sign to things to come. The nose behind it is the illustrious uh, Rodrigo Flores Rue, who also did my uh, the bottle of uh, Obagon Forger Royale when they redid that one, and that was a pretty excellent scent too. So, uh, you know, great nose. Uh, like I say, just... Uh, you know, it, I, I had six hours uh, longevity, uh, which... I guess I should also say is pretty good for a freshie, so uh, yeah, uh, you know, carry a little decan around. Oh, and an asterisk with the longevity, I meant to say, I was using this little sampler, and I have noticed with the bigger <coughs> atomizers on the bottle, uh, yeah, I mean, more juice is sprayed, so, you know, put the asterisk there, maybe it is eight hours, uh, I didn't have a full bottle. Uh, I would consider buying it, but, you know, I just have so many bottles right now, uh, and summer, Fragrances are not really my thing, you know, there's certain things I have in my collection that uh, I enjoy, uh, but like my fall fragrances, I have all kinds of 
uh, fall winter just uh, overlap of you know a couple different incense ones, a couple different coffees, you know, uh, and, and so on and so forth, patchoulis. Uh, where the summer ones, I seem to just be like, eh, I, I just don't need to, uh, for me, purchase a lot of bottles. So, uh, I would recommend giving this a sample. The good news is it's probably in every mall in America. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a very good uh, summer fragrance. And, uh, yes, I'm on board with it. Uh, maybe the longevity is longer with the full bottle. So, as usual, there will be more of these to come. And uh, please, folks, be kind.